Hi ladies, we're going to continue with uh, Sefer Torah Mitzvora. I just want to share a quick thought with you about uh, this Maimar Chazal that we've been talking about, called Mavir Amidosov Mavir Noa Kol Fishal. And as I was thinking about it like this, you know, the thought just occurred to me this week that, um, you know, wh- where, where, what emotion, where does it come from? What's the emotion that it comes from that a person, uh, when things doesn't go a person's way, you know, a person, you know, when a person feels that they have to give in, when they, when they have to go out of their way, when they didn't want to, you know, what, what emotion is it? Now, thinking of this, is, it seems from the Torah that, you know, the, the source of this emotion is really a, a, a form of anger. It's a form of anger. And I think I, I, I mentioned this in the previous year, and then I got distracted. I didn't end up uh, quoting from the source. It's a very interesting thing. You know, the Apostle says, very famous by, um, by Yaakov Avinu, at the beginning of Parshish Vayeshev, it says, Vayeshev Yaakov. Right, the Eretz Bugure of this Eretz Canaan, and Rashi says it's very famous. Rashi here, right in the beginning of the parsha, and it says like this: Vayeshev. What does this mean? Bikesh Yaakov leshev v'shalva. Yaakov wanted to sit v'shalva, to sit in tranquility. Kafat salav robzo shal Yosef. The anger of the situation of Yosef jumped on him. Tzadikim evakshem leshev v'shalva. Tzadikim wanted to sit in this world in tranquility and in, in peace and have everything be you know quiet and easy going. Omer Kadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem says, "What do you mean? It's not enough for you that I'm going to give you Olam Haba. You want Olam Hazeh also." And Hashem makes things difficult sometimes for Tzadikim. That's that's what He says. And it's interesting, Chazal, you know, they darshan is from the, uh, the Pasuk in Eov, the, the, third, the end of the third parak in Eov, the first two prakim in Eov discuss Eov's, uh, the tragedies that befell Eov, and originally he was quiet, and the third parak Eov, you know, so, sort of breaks down and says all sorts of things, you know, uh, about Hashkacha and about Hashem, and, uh, you know, about he feels, is, 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 you know, how he's being treated. And the very last Pasuk in the parak, Pasuk Kafe and Perik Gimel and Eov, it says like this, V'lo shalavti, v'lo shakatati, v'lo nachti, v'yovo rogez. I didn't have shalva, you know what I mean? I didn't have tranquility. V'lo shakatati, I didn't have quiet. V'lo nasti, I didn't have rest. V'yavo rogez, and anger followed, and became anger. And the Chazal Bashanists and the Medjurs, they say that these things, in, in, in Pashas Fayeshev, Medjur Shabbat says, these four things are, are referring to four different time periods of Yaakov Avinu's life. It's talking about his tzaros that he had with Esau, the tzaros he had with Lava, the tzaros he had with, uh, t- with Dina, and Vayavo Rogez is talking about Yosef. And I just thought it was very interesting, and I'll finish with this idea, I just thought it was interesting that, uh, that the Torah, you know, the, the Chazal are using this language of Rogez, of anger. Uh, you know, it, it, a, frustrate, a, a person or a person experiences something that's frustrating, it, it, it makes this... Uh, hint of anger there. You know, with some people this resonates more than with others. But the idea of being mafia and amidos is letting that pass. It's letting a person say, like we were saying in the last year, you know, Hashem is running the world. Things are happening for a reason. You know, there's a reason that this is happening. And, uh, you know, if I'm giving in, if I'm letting, if I'm letting it slide, you know, that's... Um, you know, that's uh, something that it builds us as people. That's something really we should try to, to work on. Okay, I wanted to finish the first parak right now um, in the, uh, well, not the first parak, the first midah in the first parak of, of Sefer Torah Mitzvot. We got through saying yesterday, uh, we finished the first section of it where it discusses the, the midos of Hashem um, and how Hashem knows everything that's going on. And even so, um, and, and He gives us power every second to do what we do. And even so, He never withdraws it from us. And every sin that we've ever done, that anybody has ever done, has been Hashem providing me with my, my life and my sustenance and chesed at that very moment that I use it against him, and this is an incredible amount of sublimus, an incredible amount of tolerance and patience on Hashem's part that Hashem has, and again, the reason being because he loves us so much, um, and, uh, you know, sometimes we feel, if we feel like things are going wrong, that Hashem is, you know, upset at us, but we have to realize it's like, you know, it's, Im- it's impossible, you know, any, any time that we're doing anything, you know, Hashem is the one who's making it happen for us, no matter what it is that we're doing. Okay. Harezu mida shetzari ha'adam lehiznaikba. So he says, this is a mida, this is a character, a character trait that a person himself also has to embody, has to conduct himself this way. But Sony, what do I mean by this? Hatsablanos, patience, tolerance for other people. The chen hayosil ne'elav, and a person should be able to be shamed, afilu the madrega zu, even to this extent, to this thing that seems, you know, uh, beyond their comprehension, the im kol zebo yesof to vassal in a makabel, and with all this, not to withhold, not to hold back goodness from the recipient, not to hold back uh, goodness from the uh, from the person who who upset him. So I just want to finish with, the, you know, just a thought about this, you know, you know we, we feel sometimes, you know, somebody who we don't like, or somebody who upset us, or somebody who's wronged us in the past, and now they're in need of help, they're in need of chesed, so sometimes, you know, our feeling is like, you know, why, why should I help this person, this person never helped me. And, you know, if we really think about it, you know, and we think about the mitzvah of chesed, you know, the mitzvah of kindness, the mitzvah of halach to bedrach, of emulating Hashem, the mitzvah to try to provide good for anybody in any way that I can, uh, for, for Jews and non-Jews, uh, humans and animals, 
with everybody. You know, so why is this person different? You know, because this person upset me, or because this person wronged me, or this person did something to me in the past that upset me, and, and therefore what, they're not deserving of my chesed anymore. They're not deserving of my kindness. The person really has to, you know, check himself and say, you know, is that really true? And if this person needs a favor, is there any reason in the world that it shouldn't be me to give them that favor? Um, and I, you know, I feel it's, it's, you know, I feel it's like shameful, or I, I you know, I feel it's, uh, you know, well, you know, but that's that's the sublimeness of Hashem. That's the tolerance that Hashem shows for us, you know, every day, day in, day out, in all of our functioning and all the way that we do, um, you know, all of our virus and he, he tolerates it all. Okay, Mirza Hashem, we should be Zochem. Tomorrow, uh, Mirza Hashem will continue with the second Mida. No say, Avon.